Professor Tong. Hello, huh? <laughs> Can you introduce yourself? Oh, I'm Pastor Tom Mount. Yes. Uh, from Calvary Chapel Bible College. I'm also a, an assisting pastor at uh, mm -hmm. Calvary Chapel Bible Fellowship with Pastor Clark. Is it okay if I ask you how old you are? 84. Oh, where are you from? What was that? Like, where are you from? Oh, well, from my mother's womb. <laughs> <laughs> you were in Hawaii for yeah. a long time, Yeah, I right? was, uh, grew up in Berkeley, California. Yes. I saw them build the Golden Gate Bridge and the Bay Bridge and all, I used to take ferry boats. Wow. Then uh, in the 1966, I moved to Hawaii for 30 years. Wow. And uh, then uh, Chuck Smith asked me to come and be here at the Baba College in 95. So uh, I came here and been here ever since. That's so and awesome. And the reason I can stay young is because of the students here. We have such a great time. Oh, so Keeps me young at heart. Yes. <laughs> Could you tell us how you met Christ and when it was? Well, uh, interesting story. My grandfather, Dr. O. L. Utter, mm -hmm. was a Methodist pastor, mm -hmm. and uh, back in the twenties and thirties, and. Uh, my two older brothers got his first two names, Oliver and Lawrence. Okay. <laughs> well, I was born in 1930, and uh, so they gave me the name, uh, his surname. They gave me the name. My middle name is Thomas Utter, Mount, mm -hmm. <laughs> carrying on Grandpa's name. And uh, it was a proud moment back in, in the 60s when Grandma said, well, this is Grandpa's watch. It's a gold watch. that uh, They didn't have all the stuff we have now. They had to have a watch fob and a vest and all, and uh, to time their sermons. You, know, yeah. you don't want to go too long. And, uh, so, yeah, we had, uh, yeah, I had the gold watch and he gave me Grandpa's uh, uh, Bible. Mm. And uh, it was interesting because, you know, Methodists are kind of like subdued, you know. Yeah. Not too many altar calls. Yes. But in his Bible, everywhere the word blood mm. occurred, he had a red underline. Wow. So, but, uh, so I'm the only one that followed the Lord as far as yeah. being in the ministry, mm. uh, carrying on his name. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, so when you ask when I came to the Lord, I can't remember. It's been that way oh. uh, all my life, but I haven't been always a hundred percent. Sometimes I let work and everything else, mm. uh, you know, but uh, I think back in the 70s, mm -hmm. when I met Chuck Smith, mm -hmm. he came over to the islands and all, mm -hmm. and uh, started listening to his tapes and all that. I uh, really went mm -hmm. full time in the ministry. I had been part time, but mm -hmm. uh, I always had to, like the Apostle Paul, I had to, <laughs> I had to you know, labor, co-labor, yeah. uh, pay for myself for the ministry. But it was exciting. Uh, those are, you know. Here's a little saying. Mm -hmm. uh, the past is history. Mm -hmm. The future is a mystery. Yes. But we're living in the present, mm -hmm. and in the present, it's a gift of God. Oh. <clears throat> so I like that. Yeah, that's awesome. <clears throat> so you don't want to look back so much mm -hmm. that you're no good for the present. That's so true. But because I'm no different than anybody else, the difference is mm -hmm. you're in your 20s, I'm in my 80s, and so I've had more experiences happen. Mm -hmm. So I have more comparisons to make, since we're going over the book of Proverbs. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've lived a lot of these Proverbs. <laughs> and you're finding out about them and yes. can employ them in your life. That's the beautiful thing about the scriptures. Yeah. I love your class so much, really. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so awesome to just listen to you. Oh. Who has a lot of experiences in the It's God the and life's everything. experiences. Yeah. And I and I'm full of stories. I like. Yes, I love that. Too. <laughs> I, I might run over though. I no, know. I'm just <laughs> blessed to be here, really. Um, so, can I ask, um, how has the relationship with Christ been going recently with you? Well, I found this interesting question. Mm -hmm. I find it grows deeper and deeper every day. Mm -hmm. The more I age, the years go by. Mm -hmm. I I know I'm going to meet my maker soon. Mm -hmm. uh, that's just the way. In this fallen world, we don't have our glorified bodies yet. Yeah. 
But in the meantime, I want to just keep, keep an eye. Chuck and I used to have a saying, Chuck Smith, we would say, we don't want to rust out, we want to wear out for the Lord. Oh. And that's what Chuck did because he gave a, a sermon yeah. Sunday morning yeah. and early Thursday morning, the Lord, the angels took him home. Mm -hmm. He was right up to the end. Amazing. Yeah. And of course, we all look for godly examples to emulate in our life and our walk with the Lord. Nothing's more important than that relationship we have with the Lord. But I find it grows and grows. I remember one time I uh, called Chuck from Hawaii, and he was, of course, in California. And uh, I said, Chuck, uh, <clears throat> when I get up in the morning, I uh, remember Isaiah 6, 8, you know, Lord, hear my, mm -hmm. Lord, use me today. Mm -hmm. Lord, yes. overflow me with your spirit. Yes. So, and then I actually could feel a zinger, boy. I felt the presence of the Lord. Well, but I asked Chuck, I said, look, Chuck, am I being greedy? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, asking for an overflow. He said, no, I did the same thing. Lord, I'm yours, here it is today. Mm -hmm. Lord, any divine appointments? I'm ready for him. Give me that which to say. Because you know we're promised yes. for the Holy Spirit yes. and he'll give you what to say. Oh, awesome. <laughs> I love it. Oh, awesome. Just overflow. And if you overflow, yes. you can be a joy to other people. Oh. Because a Christian walk is to be a life of joy. No matter what is going on, the circumstances, we're to have a life of joy. Joy in the Lord. Yes. I love it. Awesome. Uh, I love that Psalm 34. Eight. Uh, the Lord is good. Blessed is the one puts his trust in him. Taste and see that the Lord is. I love that. And <laughs> yeah, literally taste the Lord, you know. Yes. <clears throat> I love that. Awesome. So if you describe your relationship with God with just one word, can you? One word? Yes. Faithfulness. 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 If that's what he asked for, yeah. to be faithful. The same as he asked in the Garden of Eden mm. when he brought woman mm. to Adam, mm. Eve to Adam, and uh, the more or less the thing he's playing was mm -hmm. loyalty and faithfulness, fidelity, integrity. Mm -hmm. uh, and we only can gain that, not of ourselves, but only through Jesus. Mm -hmm. He's our strength. He's our high tower. And uh, just call on Jesus. Yeah. And the moment that you slip up, mm -hmm. and people slip up, maybe by something you say or thought or seen or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, go right to First John 1, 9, Christian Bar of Dove Soap, Lord, I'm sorry, I want to change for that. Yeah. And he's faithful. He'll restore us to that, that fellowship. Mm -hmm. We don't lose the fellowship when we make boo-boos in life, but we lose that the joy of the, of the, of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And I love that, having the joy of the Lord. I don't want to lose that. <laughs> <clears throat> and, and everybody should live their life as if they're going to meet the Lord right away. Yeah. And so well, you can say, well, Oh, oh, welcome to heaven, or where were you? Well, I was at Pechanga gambling. <laughs> <laughs> or I, I had a few beers, you know. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, I was in church. <laughs> so you want to be 100% with the Lord. Right. And the trouble is a lot of people don't fear the Lord, don't have a, a, a presence of the Lord mm. present because we can't see him. Mm. Uh, but he sees everything. Mm. And so though I find out the people that really fear the Lord, have a hold in reverence, mm -hmm. are those that realize mm -hmm. he's, he's everywhere, he's here. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and the mm -hmm. Bible tells us we're going to be accountable mm -hmm. for everything we say and do. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to have to have the eraser too much. Right. <laughs> <coughs> uh, I should remember that as well, because I sometimes forget that I need to be faithful as well, because like, he's always faithful to me, yeah. and I need to be faithful. Yeah. But we, sometimes like, I just forget. <coughs> and, and that's good. It nudges our conscience. And, and you can always tell that you really have a relationship with the Lord when you, when your conscience says, oh, oh that wasn't too yes. good. Oh, thank you so much for the interview, Pastor Tom. Say again? Thank you so much for the interview. Oh, yes. I enjoy it. And <laughs> let's remember one thing I'd like to tell the kids here at the Bible College. Mm -hmm. uh, so often we say, well, God bless you, yes. God bless you. Yes. And, and well, be, be careful because it almost becomes, there's nothing wrong with it. But it becomes a ritual. I like to take from the book of Ruth. Mm -hmm. Boaz, he was such a faithful man of God. Mm -hmm. Boaz was good. And, of course, uh, 
Naomi was the mother-in-law, Ruth was the daughter-in-law, and so when Boaz would come out into the field where the workers were, he was the boss, the workmen loved him. And they would say, oh, God bless you, Boaz. That was pretty neat. Yeah. How many people go to the boss and say, God bless you? <laughs> but then Boaz would answer back, mm. and the Lord be with you. Mm. So God bless you. And the Lord be with you. Oh, amen, amen. <laughs> God bless. Awesome. You're a lot of joy in your face. I love it. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Just, I'm, I'm just so thankful. Mm -hmm. So, can you end like if I say God bless you, could you say let the Lord be with you as the ending of this video? Yes. God bless you, Pastor Tom. And the Lord be with you all. Thank you. Bye. Uh, bye bye.